Welcome to another episode in MD Talk's MCAT Mastery Series, home of high-yield MCAT topics for pre-med students. Today we trace the journey from fertilization to the formation of the body's first tissues, a marvel of cellular choreography. After fertilization, the zygote undergoes cleavage, a rapid series of mitotic divisions that produce smaller cells called blastomeres, without increasing the embryo's overall volume. After fertilization, the zygote undergoes cleavage, a rapid series of mitotic divisions that produce smaller cells called blastomeres, without increasing the embryo's overall volume. These divisions transition the embryo from a zygote to a morula, and finally, a blastula containing a fluid-filled cavity known as the blastocoel. This is followed by gastrulation, a dramatic morphogenetic event where cells migrate, invaginate and reorganize, forming the ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm. This is followed by gastrulation, a dramatic morphogenetic event where cells migrate, invaginate and reorganize, forming the ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm. Cleavage proliferates gastrulation patterns. Together they set the stage for the human body's architecture. Each germ layer carries a developmental destiny. Ectoderm gives rise to the nervous system, skin, hair, nails and sensory organs. Mesoderm forms muscles, bones, the cardiovascular system, kidneys, reproductive organs and the adrenal cortex. Endoderm becomes the lining of the gastrointestinal and respiratory tracts, liver, pancreas and thyroid. The proper migration and specialization of these layers is vital. Disruption here can lead to congenital anomalies or embryonic arrest. Hydatidiform moles are abnormal growths of trophoblast tissue. A complete mole contains no fetal tissue and is purely paternal in origin. A partial mole contains triploid tissue and may present with malformed fetal parts. In both cases, elevated beta HCG levels and a snowstorm ultrasound pattern are telltale signs. These carry a risk of choriocarcinoma, warranting close monitoring. Ectopic pregnancy, on the other hand, occurs when implantation takes place outside the uterus, most often in the fallopian tube. This condition poses a serious threat due to risk of rupture and hemorrhage, making early detection crucial. Fertilization is a multi-step lock and key process. Sperm undergo capacitation in the female tract, enhancing motility and preparing for acrosomal release. They navigate through the corona radiata and bind to ZP3 on the zona pellucida, triggering the acrosome reaction. Enzymes digest a path to the oocyte membrane, where Izuma-1 and Juno facilitate fusion. The cortical reaction then modifies ZP proteins to prevent polyspermy. Finally, male and female pronuclei fuse, creating a diploid zygote, launching embryonic development. Understanding germ layers is not just key for exams. It reveals the evolutionary story of complexity. Diploblastic organisms like jellyfish possess only ectoderm and endoderm. They lack organs and show radial symmetry. Triploblastic organisms like humans gained a mesoderm, unlocking organ systems, bilateral symmetry and true body cavities. This transition allowed for segmentation, circulation and neuromuscular coordination, a leap in evolutionary design. From cell division to body symmetry, the embryonic journey is nothing short of remarkable. This video is part of MD Talk's MCAT Mastery Series. For long-form podcast episodes and study guides, visit mdtalk.substack.com and check out our MCAT Mastery Series guides on Amazon. This content is for educational purposes only and not medical advice. All rights reserved by urmd.online LLC.